it's yeah the di most diverse uh, two characters I've ever played, and I um, you know. Yeah. I don't know. I, I actually got stuck in Linda, and, and I, my, uh, playing Cosette was like a savior to me because I think I would have gone downhill, you know, after playing uh, Linda. So I had three weeks, and then I just jumped right into Cosette. So that was it. That was thank God for that because it was really this was really intense. Yeah, it seems very intense. How did you find a level of comfort with Peter and a level of comfort with your directors? Because it seems uh, Linda had such an intense and dark history. Um, how did you how did you find yourself in a safe place to act the way you needed? You know, I, these directors there's two of them it's so wonderful they work as a unit but it's just like having two of the same person coming from two different places it's just so amazing they're on the same page but um, I think they just made me feel safe immediately you know I, I when I first met them I was like I have to do this movie with you guys because the script is perfect they ha they're so amazing and um, and Peter's also the easiest person to do anything with like you can be like drop your pants and be like all right um, he, no, he's just, we have no hang-ups, really, to be honest. I think it's important if one of us had had hang-ups, it would be uncomfortable for the other one. So it's, we were just a team the whole time. We knew what we were doing. Nothing was really sexual. I mean, it, it's a, it appears sexual on screen, but it's not. And um, the violence was really more of an issue, I think, for him to get to and for me to react to. I think it was, I had to go someplace someplace else and it's not hard to pull yourself out of that sometimes so yeah it was a tough it was a tough shoot but I enjoyed it for you know for the most part the whole experience yeah, and um, since Linda isn't around anymore, uh, what would you have liked to ask her if, if you had uh, 10 minutes to sit down with her? Such a rich history. No, I don't know I don't know I just would want us to know her I just would want to hug her and sit with her and talk to her I don't know what I would say it's weird Maybe it's e it's easier that she's not around. I guess for for for, for this. Story. No, maybe not. I don't know. She. I just. I just wanted to give her a voice, and I think she'd be really proud. Linda Lovelace here at Sundance. Yeah, it would be amazing. Um, but yeah, that's she's she's alive in a lot of us. So. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at Hitfix on Twitter or visit Hitfix.com.